Hello my dear friends and welcome back to another Star Wars news update. In today's video we're going to be talking about some big details for the Bad Batch and more. As always my dear Megalorians, before we dive into it please may I ask you to hit that big red subscribe button if you've not done so and also be sure to give that bell a good old tickle to be alerted each and every time that I post new videos. So without much further ado and without any more jibber jabber, let's dive straight into it. On Twitter, Jordan Mason has shared the episode titles for all of the July episodes of The Bad Batch, which basically means episodes 10 to 14. These are from the official Disney press release, so they're not just the rumoured titles, but the confirmed ones. I will make it clear that these have no bearing on tomorrow's episode or the one after that. They're just the ones for July. So let's take a look at them one by one. On the 2nd of July we have the episode called Common Ground, on the 9th we have Devil's Deal, on the 16th we have Rescue on Ryloth, on the 23rd we have Infested, and on the 30th we have War Mantle. While some of these titles are pretty interesting in and of themselves, one in particular stands out, and that is Episode 12 Rescue on Ryloth. This title has led many fans to speculate that we are going to see a young version of Hira Syndulla, and we might even see Cham Syndulla. It's also worth pointing out that Chopper would already be there at this point, so he could also make an appearance. Now on the subject of the episode titled Common Ground, it sounds as though Clone Force 99 are going to be working with a former Separatist. I've seen some fans talk about how they think this could be Lux Bonteri, but let me know your thoughts on this in the comments down below. So now my dear friends, we do actually have some more Bad Batch news because a leaked action figure for the show has revealed a brand new clone trooper and he will be making an appearance at some point. This clone is called Clone Captain Ballast. It's very likely he is a rogue clone out there in the galaxy who Rex comes across. As such, I don't think it's the last time that we are going to see Captain Rex because this clone may have had his chip removed or may still need it removed. He may even be the person that Rex contacted at the end of the last episode. Something very unique about him is the colour of his armour. While at first my mind went straight to the 501st Legion, the coloration is noticeably different. It's more of a greenish turquoise, but who knows, he could even be part of a 502nd. And another difference to note is that he isn't wearing all white like the other the clones who remained loyal to the Empire, so this confirms that he is indeed a rogue clone and not one who is allied with the Empire. So it seems like we have a lot to look forward to with the Bad Batch and things are going to get very intense. I can't wait for episode 8 which drops tomorrow and just a reminder I do full episode breakdowns with easter eggs every single week so do look out for that. So now guys we're going to be talking about Star Wars Visions because we do have an exciting update. We're going to be getting our first teaser trailer on July 3rd and that's going to be at Anime Expo Light. So let's see what the official Star Wars website has to say. Today, Anime Expo announced that Lucasfilm are going to be bringing a galaxy far, far away to Anime Expo Lights this July with the panel Star Wars Visions sneak preview. The duration is going to be 30 minutes and it's going to take place on July 3rd at 3 p.m. Pacific time. Lucasfilm's Star Wars Visions is an upcoming anthology of 10 animated shorts which celebrate Star Wars through the lens of the world's best anime creators and storytellers. Tune in for a sneak peek that will leave you excited for this all new vision of the galaxy far far away. So at last we do have a release date for a teaser trailer and based on the date of this sneak preview I do think we're going to be getting Star Wars visions at some point in September or October. So now guys we're going to talk about a change of schedule for Disney Plus and how this is going to affect the Book of Boba and the Mandalorian. They're shifting from episodes dropping on Friday to Wednesday but bear in mind this has no impact on the Bad Batch. Now a good portion of this article is just jibber jabber so I'm going to focus on the parts that affect Star Wars. In their own words they say shows including The Mandalorian, High School Musical, WandaVision and Falcon and the Winter Soldier previously launched on Fridays and had to compete for weekend attention with originals on other streaming platforms. Sources say that the shift to Wednesday is designed to accommodate the increased volume of original Disney Plus content. We have to make clear that the Wednesday schedule is strictly for original series and this includes The Mandalorian and other upcoming Star Wars projects. And in case you're wondering it does include The Book of Boba Fett. Now speaking of Boba Fett, we do have a little update. On Twitter, the Boba Fett fan club tweeted the following. Tamora Morrison said he's been away filming for the Book of Boba for seven months. The actor shared the info in this quick little promo for the Polynesian Spa uploaded on Sunday via Instagram. So just to be clear, seven months ago was mid-November of 2020, so it has been filming for quite a while and bear in mind there were delays due to the pandemic. Let's hear what Tamora Morrison has to say in his own words. I've been away for seven months. Now they're filming the Book of Boba. Ooh, fight scenes, makeup. The one thing I've really missed is this hidden gem. Here in my hometown, Rotorua. Ah, the Polynesian Spa. Come on, New Zealand, try something new. 
Ah, oh, there are no words. So finally, my dear friends, we have a piece of news that is not going to please haters of The Last Jedi. Admiral Holdo, also known as the pink-haired lady from The Last Jedi, is back. That's right, my friends, the backstory to the relationship between Leia Organa and Admiral Holdo is being established. So let's take a look at this article. Star Wars has once again proven that some characters deserve more time in the galaxy, and if there's one thing that the franchise is good at, it's making them show up in unexpected places. The latest character return comes in the form of Admiral Holdo. Star Wars Episode the Last Jedi in 2017 is one of the most divisive blockbuster films of all time. Sandwiched between J.J. Abrams' two films, Brian Johnson's installment of the Skywalker saga drew mixed reactions from fans. While movie critics seem to absolutely love the film, many fans do not share this opinion, with some people calling for it to be removed from Star Wars canon. That being said, Ryan Johnson's polarizing movie did explore some previously uncharted areas of the Star Wars galaxy and dramatically subverted expectations, especially when it came to the villain of the piece. In the movie, General Leia Organa led the fleeing resistance away from the First Order. With the returning characters as well as new ones joining the fray, The Last Jedi is an action-packed event. One of these brand new characters had quite an impact in Johnson's film, and I'm talking about Laura Dern's Vice Admiral Holdo. First appearing in Claudia Gray's novel Leia, Princess of Alderaan, an older Amelyn Holdo made her live-action debut in The Last Jedi. A very unconventional leader, Dern's character ended up providing the resistance that only chance at survival when she made the ultimate sacrifice, killing herself to decimate the First Order's fleet. And now it seems that Star Wars is bringing her back in a very surprising way through the Star Wars Marvel comic series. In the preview for Star Wars number 14, Leia alongside Luke Skywalker, Chewie and C-3PO is seen receiving a message from Holdo. Followers of the Marvel comic series are likely to get a shock when they see the Last Jedi character make her Star Wars return. In the comic, as we see, Leia says Boba Fett doesn't have Han anymore and Holder replies, Leia, I'm leaving this message at our dead drop. I don't know of another way to reach you. I hope it finds you in time. You know I've been working with the syndicates, trying to secure supply chains for the rebellion. I recently got word of an invitation that's gone out to a sort of auction. But what this particular party is trying to sell it's Han, still frozen in carbonite. So it is really unexpected and interesting to see the return of this character. If you're a big fan of The Last Jedi, you're going to absolutely love this. And if you're not a fan of Episode 8, then let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of this news update. If you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to give me a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Do all of that good stuff down below. And I will see you all in the next one. I'm Star Wars Meg, wishing you all a phenomenal rest of the day, no matter where you dwell in the galaxy.